It is one of the most marvelous reports in current space research. The data from NASA's InSight probe suggests the urgent determination that an immense water supply lies dormant beneath the surface of Mars. In fact, the reservoir might even be large enough to flood the entire planet one to two kilometers high. The cool water is hidden in the cracks and pores of the Martian crust, and according to the researchers, it's even possible that Martian life is still sleeping down there. The fact that Mars is also known as the Red Planet is no coincidence. The surface of our planetary neighbor is covered in iron oxide dust, which gives it its characteristic color. An extremely dusty calling card, but one that fits perfectly with the dry and cold face Mars presents to us today. However, if we turn the wheel of time back a good three billion years, we realize that Mars was once far more vibrant. It is now considered certain that the celestial body was once adorned with rivers, lakes, and even outright oceans. Measurements have shown that the Martian oceans may have covered up to 75% of the planet's surface. But after a few dramatic climate changes and the loss of its thick atmosphere, not much remains of the once liquid-rich surface. In the same breath, the end of this life-friendly, wet era raises a major question. Where did all the red planet's water actually go? So far, data indicates that the polar ice caps of Mars are not large enough to store all the water of its former oceans. The same applies to the water ice deposits identified in the mid-latitudes beneath the surface. Against this backdrop, most researchers believe that Mars has released the majority of its water reserves into space. Due to the lack of a magnetic field, the solar wind easily stripped parts of the planet's atmosphere, and with it its water, into space. Another theory emerges. While this theory has long been the dominant explanation, there's an alternative idea. Instead of finding the Martian water in space, it might still be on the planet itself. To test whether the water from Martian oceans could have seeped into the depths of the planet's rocky crust, a team led by Vashon Wright from the University of California, San Diego, examined seismic data collected by NASA's InSight Lander from 2018 to 2022. Considering that previous seismic data had already shown little evidence of water in the Martian crust down to a depth of 300 meters, one might think this new endeavor was not especially promising. However, sometimes, you need to dig deeper, literally. The team's focus was on the middle crust of the planet, which lies hidden approximately 11.5 to 20 kilometers beneath the surface. Although the average annual temperature on Mars is a chilly minus 68 degrees Celsius, these underground regions might be warm enough to sustain permanently liquid water. A gigantic underground water reserve. Analysis of the seismic data yielded two key insights. First, it confirmed that the Martian midcrust is indeed porous, with cavities making up around 17% of the rock. Second, the fine gaps and pores are filled with liquid water. Wright's team concluded that the data is best explained by a mid-crust layer of fractured magmatic rock saturated with liquid water. In other words, a massive reservoir of liquid water may lie 11 to 20 kilometers beneath Mars' surface. This discovery is astounding. If these results are representative of the entire planet, Mars might possess an underground groundwater reservoir large enough to form a planet-wide ocean the volume of water would even be sufficient to flood the entire surface of Mars 1 to 2 kilometers deep. Against this backdrop, this hidden reservoir might explain what happened to the water in Mars's dried-up oceans. It wasn't lost to space, but seeped into the depths of the planet's crust, where it has been preserved to this day as brine-like water. Life beneath the surface? The implications of this finding are staggering. Could this underground water also host life? Similar environments on Earth suggest the possibility. For instance, researchers in Antarctica discovered dormant organisms 900 meters below the ice, far from sunlight, and with no apparent source of food. On Earth, the deep biosphere, home to microorganisms, viruses, and fungi, exists in ocean sediments, volcanic rock, and even the solid bedrock of continents. Michael Manga, a co-author from the University of California, Berkeley explains, since water is a prerequisite for life as we know it, I don't see why the subsurface reservoir on Mars couldn't also be a life-friendly environment. While we have not yet found definitive evidence of life on Mars, this discovery offers a promising place to look. And what about the recent findings by NASA's Perseverance rover? 
The rover has been exploring Mars's Jezero crater since landing in February 2021. It has uncovered rocks in the Naretva Vallis Delta, now named Shava Falls, that are rich in white sulfate veins and iron oxide minerals like hematite. Excitingly, the colored patches on these rocks bear similarities to structures formed by microorganisms on Earth. Although NASA emphasizes that these organic materials could also be formed through non-biological processes, such as volcanic activity, the discovery has reignited hope that the Martian subsurface might harbor life, or at least evidence of it. It constantly examines from every possible angle to understand what, in fact, is behind the rock. It must be brought to Earth, where an in-depth analysis with high-precision instruments could finally determine whether the Martian rock is indeed enriched with ancient traces of life. You can now enrich the subscribe button with brand new click marks. Go ahead, press like, and subscribe to never miss an exciting update.